plaintiff, DeAndre Holly, dated the defendant for five years. And DeAndre claims he cheated on him throughout the relationship. DeAndre is suing because he claims the defendant refuses to return his property, including his dog. Defendant Jeremy Smith says his relationship with DeAndre was off and on the entire time. Jeremy insists the dog was a gift to him from DeAndre, and he's countersuing for storage fees and harassment. Start with you. Um, me and the defendant met um, four years ago. We roughly dated. Um, and over the course of the years, like I've come to realize that he cheated on me like a few times. It was off and on, not all just yeah, cheating. Yeah, off and on. Because I'm part of a dance company in Milwaukee, I decided to move up there to try to better ourselves. I'm thinking he was gonna follow me. When I came back, I found out that he was in a whole nother relationship. So therefore, I we we split up. Because he contacted back. the guy who I was in the relationship with. All right, go ahead. We we wound up getting back together or whatever. And December 31st, my mother had surgery. Of what year? Um, just two, 2018. All right. My mother had surgery. Um, I someone called me through social media and told me everything that he had on. Now I knew this person was in line because everything that he had on, I had just bought it for him for Christmas. <sighs> and he wanted to show it off to another exactly. guy. Exactly. Wanna look good with your stuff on. That's to not another true. Guy. That's not true, y'all. And I, I confronted him about it and he told me <laughs> that yeah, it happened. And I asked him, well, who was this person? Because I didn't want to be in a circle with somebody that you're he told me basically fell out of his mouth that I didn't need to know who this person was. So therefore I decided to end the relationship. And that was, uh, that was near Christmas time? That, that was New Year's Day. We were still together after that, though. Was no. that a good way to start the new year off? Def you think definitely so? Definitely was or? not. Definitely was, was not. Was not? No. Uh, so definitely. your heart was broken then? Because um, he thinks it was a good way to start the I, new I year off. I feel like it, it, it was good. It was, it was uh, nice. You give me your yeah. side of uh, the relationship issues. <sighs> well, I'm so glad that this is over. It's going to be over. Not over yet. You're right. I well. might make, I might put y'all back together. You oh, know, no. I can order that. Oh, no. <laughs> I can order that. Okay, well, Go me ahead. and DeAndre did date. Um, it, it was off and on the whole entire time. Like DeAndre said, he uh, got into one of his spats with me, and he moved to Wisconsin just out of the blue, um, packed his stuff, and then moved. Uh, I did get in another relationship with another person because I was not waiting on him. We did not end our relationship during that time in good terms. So I started talking to someone a month later. Um, me and that person was together for about six months and DeAndre would contact me through social media and try to, you know, talk to me and get back together with me, which we were doing somewhat, you know, but the other person ended up telling me that DeAndre had contacted him. And so me and the person kind of like got into it. And I told him, well, I was going to move. No, he was playing both sides. He was okay. telling me one thing and telling him another thing. So I decided How you to, know what he was telling the other person? Thank you. Because sorry. when it all, when once me and the other guy started talking, he said, oh, well, this happened and this happened. I'm like, well, yeah, me and him has been talking. I showed him well, the messages and everything. why was he contacting the person I was with if we wasn't together? Because he wanted you back. Uh, exactly. I, I never knew we so were split up. So why did I have to lie to him about never, me and the other person? I never knew we were split up. From my understanding, oh my we, I had went up here to better <laughs> ourselves. This, this was the whole thing. Now. Uh, tell me about the unreturned property you're suing for. What happened? Um, I had me and, me and the def, um, defendant, um, we planned on moving in together. And in the midst of us moving in together, um, I had um, my balloon material because I do sculptures and I do proms, birthday parties, basically stuff like that. So I was asking him once we broke up for my belongings, yeah, I'm going to give them to you. I'm going to give them to you. Like a whole month went by. I took off three times from work to get my belongings. That's and not true, y'all. In the, in the process of me, I, I even contacted his daddy because he said And that I have texts with me, with me to him and from my father to him stating when they could come and get his belongings and because I, I never tried to keep them. When I but he off, wanted me to bring them to him and that I, I know, was not going to do. No, because he told his father that we threatened him. I never threatened him. I even arranged with his father that I would meet up with his father so that way he don't have Or did he show up? He didn't show up. Who Stop. didn't? The, the father didn't. I had a birthday party <laughs> Stop, that day. Boy. I had a Sorry. birthday party that day. Defendant Jeremy Smith dated the plaintiff, but he claims after their breakup, the plaintiff harassed him on social media. Okay, he didn't show? No, so no, I wanted to. He didn't taking, show up. I, I wanted to take the problem. The Give father me. didn't show, no. or did you DeAndre show? DeAndre didn't they, show. Neither one show. He said he called my mother, okay. but he had a, he had All my right. number. Wait, the, you have the property now? Yes, sir. All right. And I don't you have, have a, a list problem of the property? Yes, sir. Let me have it. 
and the some of the property that I bought just matches. Okay. Now the I dog. bought him some of the balloons. Look over that. The, the dog you suing him about a dog? How so? Okay, my um my niece she wound up passing a few years back, and she had a dog named Chloe. The dog was standing at, with me and her was standing dog together with his grandmother. And the when I I, I called the police, dog gifted to me 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 at the when Who the gave dog, it to you he did. No, I would never he give that dog. He gave me the dog. Your Honor, right. I would never give that I dog. I even away. have the text message That's where- That's what I was about to say. You I have even had a text message where that. I tell him, thank you. I'm thanking him for and the what dog. Is his response? And under the bottom of it, he says- Can I see that? He says, anything yeah. for you, my love. All right, sir. And you say the dog, um, you never gave it to him. I and would never give that dog And away. he still has the dog. Yes. Is that why you're suing him today? He's, he's at, when, once uh, He I has the dog. When you've asked for him last, what has he said? He he uh, he basically his grandmother told me I wasn't getting no F. him I I couldn't talk to him because he, they cleaned the and what did the grandmother say she told me I could, I wasn't getting the dog why? back because I never why? wanted the dog she said he came I never house at eleven o'clock at night I took with the, the police, with the police. Escort. you found I, what you have as evidence no I had I had a police escort take me over there no to try to and get I my just belongings. had it. I had a police escort escort take me over there to get my belongings and they basically told me oh, because here I didn't have proof that I couldn't get my dog back when he has all, everything that belongs to me because we plan on living together. I see something from the aunt. Uh, so, oh, okay, from the defendant saying anything for you, my love. Is that you saying That's that? That's him. When I thanked him on Facebook for the dog. Sir, what do you say to that? I, I never seen that post. Show it to him, the circle. Uh-oh. Your counterclaim for storage fees and harassment. How does he owe you for storage fees? Well, the things that were in the storage, Your Honor, he definitely agreed to pay half of the storage with me for storing his belongings. DeAndre never gave me a dime of anything. Um, How I, much did you pay in total? 700 and... That's his share? No, his share is 360. All right, 360 for how many months? I kept it for eight months. All right, and you all agreed that you would split the fees? Yes, sir. And did he pay the first month? No. What did you say to him? Um, DeAndre, are you going to give me How half? about the second month? DeAndre, are you going to give me How about the half? third month? DeAndre, are you going to How about the fourth half? month? <laughs> DeAndre. Weren't you all dating? Yes. And he would give you the same answer, and there wouldn't be a dispute over it? Because, because I would have to pay it because... Did. Would my there be a dispute over did. him not paying? I understand yes, you had to pay it, yes, but when you asked, where's your half? What would he say? He would say, uh, I'm gonna give it to you, babe. I'm gonna give it to you, okay. I got you. All right, sir, what do you say to this? It sounds reasonable that you would pay half the storage fees. Why would you? I didn't have nothing in the storage. Most of my belongings was at my grandmother's house. You no the, had the, nothing? You the, had nothing? The only thing that was there, like I would do b balloons, like sculptures. So you had there, balloons, what else? Um, just, um, uh, two nine feet stars. That's two it. what? Two nine feet stars is like arch stars that you walk through. Big arches. What else? Um, two five yeah, feet stars. I had balloons, a case of, um, but all of this was moved You from sound one like place. you have more stuff in there than anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Big giant arches, balloons everywhere. But how it breaks you, down, like you, you put think everything he's gonna in keep one it like that. And I'm paying he... my sister to house his stuff now because I moved out and cleared out the storage. So okay. now I'm paying for her, him and his stuff. The, to his be sister. Else. How about was... that comment about uh, the dog? I, this, this is that's not what they say. He. What I don't know it? what, what this does it is. say. I can't even, like, if I can pull it up. You like, can't read it, can you? No, that's well, what then I'm how saying. do you know it's not saying that's that? That's what I'm, I don't know what it says. Okay, but that's well, I not, do. That's not I can it. read it. <laughs> Defendant Jeremy Smith dated the plaintiff, but he claims after their breakup, the plaintiff harassed him on social media. Now, what are you saying about the harassment? Um, well, Your Honor, he had got kind of crazy with it. Um, he had started posting things on Facebook thinking because... I couldn't see him because he blocked me that I wouldn't see him, but he, cause, because he befriended my whole family. He started talking about how he's gonna sue me and my grandmother all over social media. He did? Um, yes, he did. I have the evidence. doing what you said you're gonna do. What else? Uh, and then he uh, ended up, because I contacted his aunt and his cousin, he ended up, you know, saying, um, his family and all of this because they were standing with me because it was no. wrong the way that he did it. I have the conversation no. from his cousin. I don't hear anything that he did directly to you. He did I not have... defame you. What he said was true. I also have evidence that where... he was suing you. 
his father, me and his father had a conversation. His his father and his brother threatened me. Oh his my. brother told me that he was going to come up to my okay, job. Okay, so well, he's harassing your relatives. He said you're harassing his my relatives. A man. So we're leaving that alone. Himself. With regard to the property, the property he says he has, you can come and get it. I've uh, been trying to. They threatened me. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. And like, the storage I have, fees, okay. I believe you should pay half. And that would be 360 to you regarding the uh, storage fees. This post clearly shows that you uh, acknowledge his ownership or custody of the dog. Even saying to him, anything for you, baby, uh, when he tells you thank you. Uh, and once again, the property he has, I'll give you 30 days to give it to him or, or for now, you to get. Do I have to, to take it to him, Judge? No, absolutely okay. not. Okay. Uh, you have 30 days to get, and if he withholds it, then... Uh, then you receive a money judgment. All right? That's my decision. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm just happy that this is finally over. Uh, I feel like this whole thing with DeAndre has been nothing but just torture and back and forth. It's messy. I'm just glad it's over.